All right, the top executives are already out at Twitter as Elon Musk takes control of that company now. Joining us to discuss what's really next is Plexo Capital's Low Tony, along with First Mark's Rick Heitzman. He is back with us here. Low, I'll turn to you first. So we know that the top execs are out. Uh, what are your thoughts here as Musk takes control? Oh, the bird is freed. So That's Elon what he said. Musk. <laughs> <laughs> He's the chief troll catcher or whatever we should call him now. Um, you know, look, I, this has been coming for a long time. Elon has talked a lot of ideas. What we do know is that Elon is a great product person. I mean, without question, he is one of the great product minds that we have right now. And I am excited to see what's next. He's talked a lot of things, bring back Trump, make some kind of super app built around Twitter, um, you know, free it up so it's more open to free speech. I'm not sure what all of these quite mean, but we shall see. Can a, can a great product guy, as Lowe describes Mr. Musk, turn this thing around? I think he can make some changes, and he can make them quickly. You know, part of where Twitter was stuck was having a lot of middle management and a lot of people making decisions. And I think the one thing he, he'll be able to do is cut that Gordian knot. So he, he has set some lofty goals. Uh, low. He, he has quintuple revenue by 2028, grow to nearly a billion users by 28, turn Twitter into a quote unquote super app, and then take the public, uh, take the company public again in three to five years. W when those are the goals, uh, how, how would you assess whether you think he can achieve that? I think those are going to be pretty tough. Here's why. Twitter has its best days behind it, in my opinion. I think the time to be able to make those types of changes, to change course and achieve those numbers, are past it. I do think that there is a core user base. I think there's a great opportunity. But I think there were just too long to be able to make those types of changes that would be necessary. Is there still a great product there? Without question. It still will remain significant. It will remain an important point of aggregation for people to be able to share their thoughts. Um, but I'm just not sure with all of these other platforms that have the ability to gain traction that show much more momentum, especially around certain demographics, I don't know if it's going to be achievable, it might be too late. You agree or disagree with that? Uh, I agree with some pieces. I think that he will go one or two for four in those broad, ambitious goals. Okay. Um, probably the easiest one of taking the company public again. I think the network effects built into Twitter, the fact that you know, even in the break, that's the first thing we check, and some of us are addicted to Twitter, make it that you know it, there'll be an ongoing place where this is a town square, this is where communication and news will happen. But you know, can you uh, increase revenue like that? Can you make it accessible for three times as many people? I doubt those things will occur.